Okay, this is 4F1 KJA and another one I'd like to show you uh, the one that I restored, a dual van the yeah, ISU uh, uh, FT8000 okay. owned by uh, 4F1 Mike Hotel Zulu and uh, and uh, this unit the uh, previous uh, trouble uh, sa, on RX side, no audio on receive, but it has a signal. And uh, second, no TX uh, power output, but it has also a signal. Okay, I uh, would like to differentiate that uh, different uh, with uh, signal and a power. Okay, so uh, right now, this unit was connected into uh, my microphone test microphone which uh, has a uh, very bad uh, cord as you can see this is the errata of the uh, Yaisu model the microphone the cord of the microphone of this uh, unit okay so uh, connected okay here's the cord connected into my uh, SX1000 power meter and uh, this is my uh, dual van for uh, test, uh, actual test, and connected into a dummy load, a dry dummy load. And below, I got also my wet uh, can antenna made by health uh, dummy load, I have a resistor, wet resistor dummy load. Okay, so. Uh, so, uh, we will try to test this unit first on RX. So, previously, when you down squelch, there is no sound. Likewise, on the USF, now currently has a sound. So, we will try to test on, uh, on uh, assigned frequency 508. Uh, take note that uh, using Assign uh, frequency, it's not my uh, standby frequency, it's only for test. So, we cannot disturb anything on, uh, on modulation due to we're using a dummy load. So, uh, right now, 1, 2, 1, 2. So, uh, that is for 508. Okay. And for the UHF, 1, 2, 1, 2. Uh, the problem is this mic, uh, the PTT of my mic, uh, loose. One, two, one, two, test mic, one, two. One, two, test mic, one, two, one, two, one, two, test mic. Okay. So, as you can see, uh, both uh, radio using a dummy load, so the signal is uh, very weak. So, uh, right now here, okay, we will try to test on uh, on the power meter on the two meter band okay one two okay so we will try to move the camera to the power meter and see it's uh 40 watts on transmission one two one two okay so we will transfer it to the uhf mode okay to the band okay and now we will uh Eliminate this uh, this connector to change it on a UHF uh, terminal. So, okay. So you could see the power of the UHF. Now we will make a switch mode to UHF mode. Okay. So. That's mic, that's mic, okay, so we will try to move this on the power meter, one, two, one, two, I hope, uh, see, it's a 30 watts uh, transmission on the UHF, so, uh, well, as you can see, uh, the trouble of this unit, uh, I replaced the regulator of 12 volts, uh, that's why, uh, it only power on for 9 volts but uh, 
but the reference voltage of 12 volt regulator no output when i replace the uh, 12 volts regulator uh, now you can finalize the trouble the main trouble so i figure out uh, that uh, the IC of both unit from VHF and UHF uh, amplifier, two pieces of uh, audio amplifier were replaced. Okay. And second, the final of this radio is good. Uh, there is no trouble on the finals. The trouble on the TX output power is uh, the driver of both finals. Take note, the finals of this uh, cross band has two different finals, VHF and UHF. And at the same time, the driver of each units were already damaged. So, uh, again, uh, okay. So, I also expanded the frequency, uh, do some modification of this model, so that uh, the limitation of 144 to 146 transmission can be expanded from the limit by the FCC. So, if you can... Uh, if we will transfer the uh, the frequency downward outside the amateur band, okay, then I will transfer it my monitoring unit to that uh, same frequency, okay, okay. So it does now transmit, okay. Okay, the frequency is 141080. Okay, transfer the portable. 1212. One, two. See? 1212. 1, 1, 1, okay. Okay, that's transmit. Well, at the same time, it also receives. Likewise, on the upper frequency. Okay, so uh, let's say uh, I'll transfer this uh, connector to BHF mode. Okay. And at the same time, I will switch the SWR, the power meter to band 1. Okay, hold on. While I'll try repairing this connector, it's a PL connector for VHF. Okay, and then I'll switch to the band 1. So I will transfer this to 14518. Okay, now I will set this into a cross band since i have already modified this uh, uh i already activated the cross band so turn off the the unit okay and then we will press the rpt button and then power on and then release okay as you can see you can see two both uh, dots uh, indicating you are on a crossband so we will transmit on UHF and thus will transmit on on VHF one two one two okay see Roger one two one two and thus transmits also to give the specified power on the VHF mode one two one two okay at the same time it's vice versa if I'm going to transmit on the on the VHF band it will transmit on the UHF band Okay, so I will transfer my portable to 145080. Okay, so 1212. Okay, so that's it. The cross bands were already activated, and I will terminate the cross band, turn off, and then press RPT again, then power on, then release. Okay, now on the normal mode, so transfer 508. Well, I hope you like it, uh, the test and evaluation of this uh, dual band radio. And I hope uh, for F1, uh, Mike Hotel Zulu will enjoy this uh, dual band uh, transceiver. So, it is very easy to troubleshoot or restore any unit if there is uh, no one or somebody or any albulario uh, who's not doing uh, its uh, proper procedure on troubleshooting likewise on a scientific method and uh, well uh, it's
it's very easy also to troubleshoot the uh, delicate unit if you are the first hander to uh, to repair uh, such kind of uh, equipment okay i hope you enjoy this and another uh, experimental and uh, learning uh, process and something uh, come out with a new knowledge power i hope okay uh, this is part of one kja 73 stall and uh, signing off thank you